Y'all, it's 8 o'clock, uh, and we got a quorum. And thank you for finding the room. Some folks might have had a problem, even though he's got a bill on the calendar today. Uh, he's taking lessons from uh, transportation chairman. Check out all the systems through here. Uh, Ellis, would you mind saying a prayer for us, please? Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful day and the opportunity to come and face the challenges that we have laid out before us. We ask for your guidance. We ask for the wisdom to be able to lead this station, this nation, and this state in the direction that thou would have us go. For we ask you to forgive us of our sins, bless the men and women that today are placed in their lives in harm's way, that we might enjoy the freedoms of this country. All of this we pray in thy holy name. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, I've been in committee meetings where they remind you to do that, but I thought our committee was a little smarter than you. Tyler Harper, <laughs> Senator. <laughs> Just so you know, you got me in trouble in that committee. <laughs> I better make sure this is on. Yeah. Talk later. Yeah. Before, uh, <laughs> before we get started on this, I, I want to tell the committee thank y'all again for the flower that the committee sent to uh, my daddy's funeral. It was a big old spray with a, you know, daddy was a farmer and it, it had a, a basket with eggs and all kind of stuff in it that, uh, that just suited. So thank y'all very much for that. And also Pat told me that y'all made a donation as a committee to, uh, to a thing called Friends Helping Friends that my daughter started that puts uh, regular ed high school kids with special ed kids and uh she started it at the high school in in elbert county started out with her and two more girls and now it's a 300 member club uh in the high school in just four years and there's a whole different attitude and atmosphere toward uh people with special needs in in our county because of that so thank you very much for for doing that for for her and for those kids. Um, today, the uh, Cattle Association is feeding the Rural Caucus and the Ag Committee over in the uh, 201 in the Ag Building for, for lunch. So uh, if you don't want some good beef, uh, come over and grab your, grab your plate. You ain't necessarily got to stay, but I promise you it'd be worth the walk across the street. We got four bills on today, uh, and I promise Chairman Wilkinson, who is a newly, if you don't know him, he's a new Ag Chairman in the Senate, so you might want to be nice to him if you got something headed that way. Uh, he's got another meeting, so uh, he wanted to go first. So, John. Thanks, sir. Anybody have any questions? To further, let me let me get Dr. Ambrose. Would you 
John, do you mind if he shows us a pit that thing he's got so we'll at least know what we're talking about? That is wild ginseng, right? Which is what the Asians had rather have than cultivated ginseng, right? Uh, I talked to a buddy of mine that hunts on our place from Silver, North Carolina about five minutes ago, and he says that their harvest season is September the 1st on and uh, until the plants die, and that they have to get permits, and it's a permit for so many pounds. And then when you get to that many pounds, then you have to get another permit if, you, if, if you're on federal property. Is that the way it works in Georgia or is it going to work? Right. If if you're on federal land, but you don't have to have it on private land. Right. And he also told me that that uh, by September first and on after, most of the bears have already dried up and fallen off anyway. So it's not a big deal about having to plant them. But if you find one, you just throw it back in the hole where the root came from. That's pretty much it. All right, who's 23? Me, sir. Right, to me. my fellow North Georgia chairman of the Ag Committee. I just was just reviewing this. Um, what What's ginseng used for? Why, why do the foreign markets uh, so in, uh, want to export it to foreign lands? And what makes it just a... a um, such a valuable crop to our folks in the mountains. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think it's also used for memory, but you forgot that, right? <laughs> so, does that mean you've been using it for other purposes, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know about these committees. Are you protected by the Fifth Amendment? <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a motion on the floor. Is that a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Jay Robin. All right, House Bill 297, Ms. Ms. Buckner. Good morning. I always hate to say this is truly a simple little bill because it always gets complicated, but that's indeed what this is. Um, House Bill 297 simply puts the word native in front of azaleas for our state wildflower. Uh, in 1979, the, what we call back home, wild honeysuckle, or native azaleas were selected as the state wildflower. Well, at some point that no one seems to know exactly when it happened, in the code there was a cleanup and native was removed. And a uh, cultivated azalea is totally different from a native azalea. And um, we've got a company that's kind of well known over in our area called Callaway Gardens that feels very strongly that native azalea should be reflected correctly in the Georgia Code as our state wildflower. So all this bill does is add native back where it originally was in the code. Thank you, ma'am. Anybody got any questions? Appreciate your favorable consideration. All right. Anybody got a motion? Yes, sir. So moved. Second. Motion second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Winford, do you have a question? Oh, I saw you, Matt. Okay. He was going to All right. On. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That one was simple. <laughs> All right. Two more that are not that simple. Uh, let's just do House Bill 268. Mr. Buddy, you can sit there. It doesn't matter whatever you want to do. What's your number? Two. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 
Now, this bill uh, is, is not simple, but it's a very, very good bill, been, been well vetted, and uh, the subcommittee that you appointed to to straighten out the, the problem that we had with, with cotton has, has met and has come up with a, a very good solution for that. Uh, and if, if you'd like, I'll go back through the whole bill, but I, the committee has heard it, but you'd like for them to go back. Well, I, I think uh, un, unless a, a committee member uh, wants to go back through the whole thing, I'll, I'll just hit the highlights. Uh, the, in, in the first version, cotton was exempted but we found that that was not, uh, should not have been done. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, let's do, because there have been a lot of um, LC numbers on this. We're on LC 40033-6S. And this, this was a, a very... Uh, it, I think the subcommittee even made uh, a couple of versions, and but that's the version we're on. That's the final version. Uh, um. <laughs> and well, and, and and thank you, Chairman Roberts, for your work on this because you and you and Chairman Burns did a, the great job of, of getting it straightened out. Uh, but basically, now uh, under Section One, the only thing that is struck on the the products there is eggs as far as uh, this particular bill is concerned. Uh, we had some changes to his or her to become politically correct uh, and he or she in section two. Uh, <clears throat> now the, the annual fee is what it was when we first looked at the bill. Uh, uh, that's $400 as a license. And the, uh, the amounts of the bonds are the only other thing basically that, that any change is made to, but uh, in Section 3, you'll notice there is a, a minimum amount of bond and also a maximum amount, and the amount of the pecan bond was, was increased uh, to 500000 but of course that was in the last version we looked at. Um, the major change that, the, the, that uh, Chairman Roberts and and Burns made when, when their committee, subcommittee met was, is in section four, which says that no warehouse, this is uh, under B, section four, no warehouse that is in full compliance with the provisions of article one of chapter four of title 10 shall be required to obtain a license or maintain a surety bond under this article. What this does is uh, prevents in the cotton industry a, a person dealing with the cotton from having to have two bonds and, and, and basically two licenses. And so if they have a federal license, which is what that chapter refers to, then, then they, are, uh, they are covered under this. And Mr. Chairman, basically that's, that's what the bill has been changed to and what this particular version does. And I uh, would appreciate the committee's favorable consideration. Be glad to answer any questions. President Harden, I appreciate your work because I know this has been in and out and up and down, and, and uh, the subcommittee that dealt with this has been in and out and up and down along with the department trying to get this suitable for everybody. Does anybody have any questions on on uh, 268? Got a motion passed, and is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Thank y'all, uh, and I do appreciate the work on this thing. It's something that, that's necessary, uh, I think, for the producers in the state, and uh, especially as, as we get more diversified crops in, in, in the different ways of selling them, and uh, it protects the producers and also protects a lot of the people that are honest in buying them, too. Uh, but thank you, buddy, and uh, to all y'all that worked on it. All right, House Bill 298, uh, Robert Dickey. Is it on? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, members of the committee. Uh, we're working uh, HB 298 LC 40-0335-S. Um, as you all uh, may or may know, uh, we passed this bill out of uh, committee, got to rules, and at that time we realized uh, we needed to be a little more uh, specific and inclusive 
And so we added a couple of words here. Down on uh, line 24, uh, as we're talking about uh, Georgia-grown products, we had agriculture, horticulture, floriculture, and vegetable, but we uh, thought it would be best to uh, add the word silvicultural to uh, include our friends in the uh, forestry industry uh, to be a little more direct, uh, make sure they uh, they uh, are included. So, uh, so we added the uh, word silvicultural. Um, this bill, um, as you know, is uh, to, to um, the established the Agricultural Commodity Commission for Georgia-grown products, and ag uh, and our forestry products are certainly a, a very large part of um, of um, agriculture products for our state, and, and we want to. Um, make sure they're included. We also on line 31 included uh, the word milling uh, to go along with the uh, forestry inclusion um, to, uh, such as lumber and um, other forest products. Um, as we looked at it also uh, decided that on line 51 we would add a couple a uh, additional uh, members uh, to the commission from three to five to make sure we had a, a, a inclusive representation uh, since we are uh, trying to grasp uh, a lot of commodities uh, under this um, uh, commodity commission uh, we're establishing. So uh, looking forward to uh, this uh, commission being established uh, as, as we were y'all were told. It's uh, no cost at all to, to um, the state. It's all voluntary contributions by members uh, who want to be a part of it and who want to use uh, their own funds for promotion and just lets the um, commission uh, ga have those funds used exclusively for this program. Also, um, at the request of the commissioner uh, over on line uh, in section three at the very end, um, some issues with the cotton, um, Agriculture Commodity Commission for cotton I uh, wanted to add a couple of extra uh, cotton, cotton commission members, and uh, to, to, we'd go to seven uh, for uh, for the cotton commission um, in uh, line 295. And so those are the only changes uh, that um, we wanted to add to this bill, and uh, I'd be open to any questions anybody would like to, like to ask about it. Thank you, Representative Dickey. Anybody have any questions on this? Is there a second? Second. Sir. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold no. All righty. Thank, thank you, Mr. Robert. I know this thing <laughs> it has been one of them kind. <laughs> Department, thank I know Pat. <laughs> Y'all want to just be quiet when you get what you want, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Does anybody have anything else? Y'all still feeding us? Yes, sir. Josh? All right. It, it, at dinner time in 201, right? Den like lunchtime in 201, right? All right. Anybody else have anything else? Thank y'all very much for showing up to the right room at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs>